Hello everyone and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul Tutorials in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I'm going to discuss how to create one of my special installs of Kerbal Space Program. This will be the Rocket Profiles slash Mission Profiles installs. So if you've seen my Rocket Profiles and Mission Profiles series, I launch a lot of historical missions and basically those are just all done in one install with all the rockets. The, the install is billed as the install with all the rockets. So um, that does take a lot of RAM. It is not an easy install to put together. Uh, so far, if you've been following along with the installation tutorial videos, uh, you should have gotten an install like this one. This is the exact install that I've put together using uh, during those tutorials. Uh, one exception might be this A set, but otherwise I've explained uh, how to put all these in. A set is a props pack that is used for raster prop monitor, which was related to the shuttle. If you watch the shuttle installation video, that's uh, among the latest things we did. We also did uh, KW rocketry. So most of this though is still just the realism overhaul requirements that I installed in the first realism overhaul install tutorial. And otherwise we've added a few things in since then. One thing we should probably add is TAC life support or Kerbalism, either one. Uh, though with Kerbalism, you have to make sure to use the Kerbalism Realism Overall configuration, so that's a particular version of it. Uh, I won't do that here uh, because, well, first of all, in principle, the it depends on you. We're just trying to get all the rockets in. So now I'm not going to install all of the mods individually. That would be extraordinarily tedious. Uh, right now we have 46 items in this folder, you can see. It's uh, not that many things, really. I've seen bigger installs. For instance, this is the one that actually I do the rocket profiles and mission profiles in. This uh, It's in Realism Overhaul 1.3.1. I label it History. And it's got 147 items in it. So 100 more mods than this one. Well, not really. Uh, a lot of it is my own configurations down, well, a few of it is my own configurations down here. I just, whenever I configure a mod, I just dump the configuration down here so that uh, I know that's mine, basically. Uh, and, but yeah, I mean, here we have the space shuttle system again, of course we have that here. Uh, space launch system we had installed in here to get the nose cones, uh, at least I had. Uh, we have that here. Some of these mods haven't been updated since 1.3.1, like Space Launch System hasn't been updated since 1.3.1. If it's a part mod, that's generally okay, sort of. Uh, it depends, your mileage may vary depending on the mod. Uh, if it's plug-in mod though, you really need it to be the version for your KSP. So that's the rub. And some of the part mods may include plugins, and the way you can tell is uh, you go into the folders and you see, well, something called plugins would be a dead giveaway, but if it has a DLL file, that's that's a plugin mod. All right, so again, I'm not going to install each of these 100 additional mods individually. The process is the same as you've seen with the previous installation videos. You go to GitHub or you go to um, uh, Space Dock and get the version for your version of KSP. Make sure not to unzip the game data folder inside this folder. Otherwise, you're going to have errors. Make sure you're getting the right folder in, and then you should be okay. But first, uh, you can see I've got all these installs of KSP, right? These are the stock ones. Well, stockish, this JNSQ actually. RSS Kerbalism is not stock, obviously. But these are my RO installs, and I also have another SSD that has more. But uh, the oldest install you can see is 1.1.3. You can see I've named them very carefully here. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this KSP RO181 and history. So, whoops, spell it properly. So this will be the uh, Rocket Profiles install. So I'm not going to change this install because I still want this to be a very spare, uh, nice tight install that doesn't have too many mods. And instead, I'm going to copy this stuff and turn it into the more complex install separately. Now, this can cause problems. I mean, this version of KSP is not the Steam version. This is a, the version off of the Kerbal Space Program website. And if you got on GOG.com, that it should work this way just fine too because they're DRM free. I don't know how well copying and pasting the folders works 
when you've got it off of Steam, but it should work because it's still DRM free. And the important thing about Kerbal Space Program is it puts nothing in your system registry. If it did, that would be a problem. So this normally works. The cat there are catches. Um, uh, if you're copying a lot of plugin mods, then maybe a plugin mod in theory would can create a data file that is location dependent. In other words, it's sort of built in where stuff is. And in that case, it might get confused because you just moved its folder and that data file is thinking it's in the old folder when it's in now in a different folder. So yeah, that can happen in theory. Now, the nice thing about doing this is, of course, that you only have to create the RO install, the base RO install once. And then you can create your other installs based on it. Because I've got 32 gigs of RAM, right? And not everybody has a lot of RAM. So you may need to divide up your uh, mods into different installs. And, you know, to some extent I do, right? So I've got all these. I've got an aerospace install. I've got um, the history. I've got an uh, install specifically for Mars, specifically for the moon, specifically for RP-1, specifically for the shuttle and the ISS, because the ISS parts are not in the rocket profiles install because they're sort of bulky. They're, they're sort of their own thing. And so you, you get this sort of pattern where uh, even with all the RAM I have, I divide it up into different installs so that I don't overburden it and the game doesn't constantly crash. That would not be the most pleasant experience. So, so that's why we do this. And one thing I will do is I'll delete the module manager cache. So not the DLL file, but all this cache stuff because we're, we're going to have to rebuild that anyway. So I just want to get rid of it. Okay, so... I will show you how to install some mods, and those are the our FASA and Raider Nix mods. Those are sort of basic to any history install that you're going to do. And we're at the RO GitHub, which you should be familiar with from the previous installation videos. And uh, we want this US rockets, US probes, Soviet spacecraft, Soviet rockets, Soviet probes, Skylab, Salyut Stations, Antares Cygnus, FASA RO, uh, RN Miscellaneous, let's just quickly, uh, US Soviet Solar Panels Pack, probably. FASA Retexture, which will put the United States instead of Kerbal States if you're going to do historical stuff, that's probably advisable. And I think that's what we need. Okay, so. We are just going to go to the releases. Look at this dependencies. First thing, get the dependencies for your versions. So for all of Ra Raider Nix mods, uh, these dependencies will work for all of them. Uh, they are the dependencies. Oops. Dependencies are textures unlimited, uh, a particular version of BD animations, and smoke screen for the plumes and all. Uh, of course, uh, you should probably already have smoke screen. So download the dependencies for your version of KSP. And then download the mods. So the US Rockets uh, pack has the Thor rocket. It has the Titan IV rocket. And we'll see what our rocket, I forget. <laughs> uh, let's uh, take a look outside, back to this page. So uh, Araby, I always forget Araby. Juno II, Scout, Thor. Titan IV and Vanguard parts, not all the Vanguard parts. Um, and then US probes pack. This has Cassini, uh, Earth orbit uh, observation satellites, Explorer, Galileo, the IUS or PAM system for the shuttle. So those are the boosters that are used for shuttle extra planet, uh, interplanetary payloads. The Juno probe, Laddie probe, Magellan, Mariner, Mars Observer, Neo, uh, that's Near Earth Orbit Exploration Missions, uh, New Horizons, Pioneer, Surveyor, and Vanguard. So if you want to do US probes, this is definitely something you need to have. Soviet spacecraft, okay, there's Soyuz and assorted others. Oh, so the landers for the moon. 
It's uh, the folder is called RN Soyuz, but I think it's got more than just Soyuz. Uh, there's the LK, LOK, so those are the moon landing things. And then there's some TKS spacecraft. Okay, uh, Soviet rockets pack as Dnieper, Cosmos 2, Cosmos 3, N1, Proton, Cyclon, and Zenit. Oh, and of course the R7 rockets. Soviet probes pack, all your Lunas, your Molnias. Well, one Molnia, I think. And Sputniks, Gonets, and uh, what's this fellow? Oh, the Proton ones. Proton was originally a payload. So that's the Soviet probes pack. Skylab is Skylab. Salyut stations are Salyut stations. So, And Antares Cygnus is Antares and Cygnus. Okay, we got all those. We should put them in properly into our little history install. Conven conveniently, they are prefixed RN, so dependencies first, please. So here, these dependencies. We've already got module manager, of course. And uh, we should keep an eye on... I wonder why there's this old version of Smokes. Oh, those are just the image and configuration files. The plugin was relatively recent. Okay, but we'll get the more recent version of Smokescreen. That's fine. Okay, and then Antara Cygnus. Um, oh, and a note, uh, these ship files in here, those are not realism overhaul. The realism overhaul ship files should already be included with Realism Overhaul itself. So we unzipped that, those craft files. All these RN ones are for Raider Nix mods. Those came with Realism Overhaul, the mod, already. So hopefully you unzip those at that point. Otherwise, you can go unzip uh, Realism Overhaul again and get the craft files. Okay, Salyut Stations. Skylab. Soviet Probes. Soviet Rockets. Soviet spacecraft, U.S. probes, and U.S. rockets. Now, the miscellaneous uh, files, you may or may not want. Uh, there is a B330. These modules may not have been updated recently, so it depends on you. I'll put them in. Okay, and then there was also the solar panels. So we got the RN miscellaneous. Well, it says two months ago. That's not bad. Um, U.S. Soviet uh, solar panels pack. This really hasn't been recent. Uh, updated for 1.4 most recently. Well, we'll see. As long as it doesn't overwrite anything else, it's okay. Okay, so we've got all the Raider Nick mods in. And if we take a look at these... That's 1.2 gigabytes, which is, well, here's squad, 1.12. So Raider Nix mods combine are more than the original parts of the game, including the DLCs. So take that into ad advisement, okay? Uh, we're doing major things here. This is not to be take undertaken lightly. Then there's FASA. Uh, so here we go with the FASA release. Uh, works for 1.7, 1.8, 1 1.9, and works in stock if you don't have realism overhaul. So we're getting the latest version of FASA, and uh, we're getting the FASA retexture to replace Kerbal States with the United States on those. So FASA, which is, you know, a mere 220 megabytes. Now, for both FASA and uh, Raider Nix mods, if it so happens that you just want some of the rockets or some of the things, it is generally safe to delete uh, those things that you do not have. The folders are self-contained, uh, but I'll go in and show you that. That if you have RAM problems and the system isn't loading properly, you may need to do that. And if you just have certain requirements... That may be helpful. And then the retexture. Just overwrite the files when unzipping the retexture. Won't even look at that. 
Okay, so for FASA, if you aren't doing Apollo, you could just delete that Apollo folder. If you're not doing Gemini, you can delete that. If you're not doing ICBMs, I almost always delete the ICBM folder, and I'm gonna do that now. Uh, Mercury, uh, if you're not doing that, you can just delete the Mercury folder. When you delete those though, you might wanna go into spaces and also delete the spaces. So if you're not doing Mercury, you can delete the Mercury interior. If you're not doing Gemini, you can delete the Gemini interiors, including the Gemini lander interior. If you're not doing Apollo, then the Apollo interior and the Lem interior you can get rid of too. Those, uh, they're not small. There's 24 megabytes just for the Lem interior, okay? And then uh, same for Raider Nix mods to some extent. If you're doing the Soviet rockets and you don't need Dnieper or whatever, these are all self-contained folders. So you can get rid of them as necessary. Okay, so that's already a lot of historical things. Uh, so now I'm going to open up the old uh, install, the history install here, because here we've got 56 items only. So what the heck were all the other uh, folders? Let's just go through them. Uh, some of them are just for little parts here and there, like AIES, I like the antennas. Uh, Angara, that's DeQ's Angara mod. And again, I'm not going to go through all of these and show you how to install them or anything. You can just look them up. So DECQ Angara. And so if you need the Angara rocket, that's that one. HTV, uh, you can find this on Space Dock, I think. Uh, I created a configuration file. I think I've done a video on it. And the configura RO configuration is in that video. If I haven't, please tell me in the comments. <laughs> and uh, same with the Japanese launch vehicle pack. I think I did a video on H2 and the HTV, and I put the RO configuration in the video description. So uh, this is for the uh, H2 rockets right here. Okay, it's also got H3, Lambda 4, and Mu 5, and Epsilon, but those are probably not properly configured for realism overall. There's the ATK propulsion pack if you like your SRBs. They're, they're here. <laughs> there are a lot of SRBs uh, that might be required for certain Delta rockets and such. Um, atmosphere Autopilot, we had Auto Garage, um, if you want a Tesla Roadster. Yep, if you want to do the Fa uh, Falcon Heavy first launch. Okay, Blackheart, there's just a bunch of procedural part textures, camera tools, self-explanatory. There is a Canada Arm mod if you want uh, the Canada Arm for the Space Shuttle. Uh, if you go to DECQ Space Shuttle, uh, forum page, it has a link to the Canada Arm. Uh, this uh, CASA mod, I haven't tested yet. Uh, it's uh, the Long March 2E and 2F, it looks like, and the uh, crewed spacecraft, but I don't know if it's configured for realism overhaul yet. So it may or may not be. I haven't tried it out. Uh, so there's that. CX Airspace is for ISS modules. DCK is for um, repainting. Uh, the stock parts and certain other mod parts. It's got camo textures and other textures. It's handy for planes in particular. Um, my own mods, of course. Uh, if you search my videos, you should be able to find the GSLV Mark III mod, the Long March III. Uh, if you need Pegasus, that is a mod. Again, I'm sorry, uh, this, uh, there is one video that's uh, called EDB Mods on my YouTube, and that should have um, all of these, uh, but also there are videos on each of them individually, so a GSLV Mark III video that has the link to the mod, and Launcher 1, and Pegasus, and so forth, Bepi Colombo. So those are there. I'm not going to link it in this video, though, so because there's just too many things that we could be linking. Energy is from DeQ, and that also has Buran. That has lots of interesting issues with it, unfortunately, including plume issues. I've tried to do configuration fixes, but the Buran itself is uh, problematic. I've got my little DeQ Energy RO configuration down there. But, uh, yep, so that's that mod. FASA, of course. Uh, these come with other things. Well, environmental, vis environmental visual enhancements is the clouds, fire, fire spitter. Fire spitter, uh, of course, does have plain parts, but I don't have them in here right now. Uh, forgotten real engines. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's for little engines. And in particular, FRE1 and FRE2 is from Firefly. 
LE5 and LE7 are uh, the uh, Japanese engines on the H2 rocket. Uh, RD843 is a small upper stage engine. Uh, Rutherford engine for the Electron rocket. The Vega uh, SRBs for the Vega rocket. So uh, you will need Forgotten Real engines for the Vega rocket. And uh, Viking engines for the Viking. Uh, so Ariane, early Ariane rockets. Okay, textures, hangar extender, um, this is particularly important. James Webb Telescope is a mod. And these are all not relevant to the rocket profile thing necessarily. Uh, Antares we have, right? Uh, I forgot to highlight that, that's just, uh, because that's by KK, even though it's included in the Antares Cygnus mod by Raidernick. Uh, this is old. Uh, I, I think Raider Nick has bundled that into his US Rockets mod now. Yeah, so this uh, LTTAT, Long Tank Thrust Augmented Thor, uh, and ELTTAT. So this folder is just built into the US Rockets mod now. Okay, and moving right along. Uh, KK Launchers Pack. This has Falcon. Uh, it's uh, he's also got a Delta, so if you want your Delta two, that's where you get it. And uh, KK launches had the old ITS as well. Oh, and the Atlas five, I don't know if that still works. Okay, so that's an old one that may not be updated. Okay, last tech is really really old, and I have only one part from it, and that's the Super Dracos. So. Lionhead Aerospace is also very old, and it's for specific probes. Uh, so those may not work anymore either. But I put them in anyway, just to just in case. Uh, I think there's a Luna probe that I wanted from there. Uh, all this is uh, as it is. Near future launch vehicles, I don't think is a historical one. Um, niche parts for certain RCS thrusters and engines. Uh, they're really small engines. But there's also Rutherfords here and Super Dracos. And otherwise they're relatively small engines, BE3, if you want the the new Shepard rocket. Okay, and of course we've installed real engines before in our install. That's very important for all the nice engines. Our uh, Raider Nix mods, of course. Hmm. Okay, uh, though not, uh, they have substantially changed from this 1.3.1 install, of course. There are actually more rockets in them now. Uh, factory, uh, this stuff was for the ISS, I think. Uh, well, yeah. Oh, this is Lunacod 1. I take it back. That's Lunacod 1. I don't know where to get that now. I don't think it'll work in more recent versions. And this is uh, Luna 17. Okay, not ISS. Uh, Lunacod 1 and Luna 17. So... Yeah, I maybe they'll work. Maybe you can find them. I don't know. It's been a while. The space shuttle, the space launch system. The space launch system mod is just called space launch system, and it comes with its own RO configurations. Mileage may vary on those. Uh, Super penguins rockets, uh, New Glenn and Electron. Tundra exploration, of course. You guys have mentioned it in relation to my Starship videos. And of course it had a dragon. I mainly put it in here for this in 1.3.1 and only had the dragon that I was interested in. And back in 1.3.1 uh, there was the whole attempt at the old ULA mod thing. That's been redistributed between Raidernix stuff and um, what you call it, uh, KK stuff, the Delta, the Delta rocket. But I don't know if the Atlas V ever made it, so that's complicated. And uh, vent stock revamp might be useful, just to change the stock engines to something a little bit better looking. I don't know if it's updated for 1.8.1 yet though. So those are the mods in the original uh, rocket profiles, mission profiles pack. You should be able to find them. At some point I'll go over, I'll just go through the add-on releases page, maybe in a different video, and tell you which ones I've used. Uh, a lot of these I haven't, so but I can tell you which ones I've used and have confidence in, just for the heck of it. But uh, yeah, I think that covers it. 
Uh, so, but let's fire up the history install that we just created to make sure nothing goes wrong. So what I've got in here right now are just Raider Nix mods and FASA, which is quite a lot as it is. But uh, we've got 23,661 patches, and I'll tell you what kind of RAM it uses right at the end of loading. It's not too bad in 1.8.1 compared to earlier versions, but still you can overload it. And of course, we already had the Space Launch System and the Space Shuttle in the install, so we have those in here already. As far as recommendations, do I recommend that you install these? Well, if you're doing the historical missions, if you want to do these particular rockets and these particular probes, then of course you'd install these. If you want to make your own, that's a whole other way of doing things. And I'll make a different video on, you know, what if you want to make your own rockets, kind of, which mod should you install for that. I don't know what to call that video though. Um, it's easier to call. This is the rocket profile install. That's one thing, but uh, I just want to make my own rockets install. It's an interesting question what to call that. Okay, it's wrapping up loading and it's hovering at about 5.4, 5.6 now gigabytes of RAM, which is not much. I've seen it above 20, so. 5.7 now, it's going up, it's going up. Okay, we hit 6.6 .6 gigabytes of RAM there. And Tweak Scale seems to always have that message. We'll resume our default save. How long does it take to load? Uh, expect about five minutes. Uh, this is often an SSD though. And it's, but it's a low range SSD. There are faster ones like the M2 ones and such. Okay, we've got the funny shadowy thing, um, but we are at Cape Canaveral, I think. And uh, somebody had noted that they had trouble clicking the buildings. Yeah, I have this shadowy problem and clicking the building problem sometimes too. That's why these buttons on the side exist, really. Uh, so we are going to the VAB. Make sure we have all the parts and they're looking proper. Oh, and we can op open the craft files. An easy way to check that all the mods, uh, the FASA and the Raider Nick mods are working is because we got the craft files for them from uh, Realism Overhaul itself. So when we look here, we should not have any problems. There'll be unknown part modules because if the craft file was saved when the person had a different mod in like TAC Light Support, it's probably mostly TAC Light Support. Uh, well, though on ARBs, I don't think so. Uh, but okay, let's see what this locked or invalid part thing is. Okay, so that's, uh, I didn't put the KK mod in, so we'll need to put the KK mod in in order to get the, like I said, the ULA parts have been distributed between uh, Raider Nix and uh, Kartoffel Kuchin's launchers pack, so we should probably install that. You'd probably want the Falcon 9 anyway, uh, plus the Delta 2, and of course, uh, all, yeah, that's all the old Delta 2 stuff. And Dawn launched on the Delta II, that's why we don't have those. But Luna, Luna 13 in this case. We have the rocket looking good with the proper fuels, kerosene, oxygen, HTP. And of course, if we want the Saturn 1B with Apollo on it, that looks fine. United States on the side as we expected. Um, we don't have Tentaras, so these, no big surprise that those are missing. I wonder what the part module is on the surveyor that we're missing. Oh, module arrow reentry. Okay, that's uh, Delhi reentry, and we didn't put Delhi reentry in this time. So that is, and I bet it's the same thing here. Yeah, those are deadly reentry modules that has there. So there's Galileo with an IUS. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the KK launcher pack stuff, and so I'll show you how to do that since the RO craft files require them, and then we'll verify that everything is working properly there. We don't want to not be able to launch all those probes that we have 
I mean, we have all these probes, but we don't have the launcher for them. That wouldn't be any good. So let's go back to installation phase. Okay, so I'm going to, on the add-on releases, type in, oops, quote, launchers pack. Hopefully that'll get it. KK launchers, that's what we want. Apparently there's a Starlink addition to it. Very nice. Um, oh, this is down the page. It didn't get me to the top of it. Okay, so we see the Delta, we see the Delta 4, and of course, um, Delta 3, all your Deltas. So version 1.0 from Space Dock we'll get. And then the Falcon stuff, download from Space Dock. Atlas, well, this is this is the problem. I mean, may work, may not work. Um, I don't recommend using the fairings with it, okay? Because uh, it requires old school fairings, which I don't think. Yeah, just use other fairings if you manage to get it to work at all. Okay, and so I'm going to download this Delta pack and this SpaceX launch vehicle pack. And all right, uh, let's see about this Atlas pack. I wonder, well, it says 1.9.1 now. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's okay. Well, <laughs> well, this is complicated. It says 1.9.1, but then it says updated for, I'm confused, so okay. Well, we'll get it and see what happens. Okay, so in-game data, the Delta pack. Again, we don't need the ships. We already have craft files. So KK launchers pack part one. Game data. I'm not gonna get the F9 demo. I'm just gonna get this launchers pack part two. Now, if you wanna trim out some stuff, one thing, well, ITS is up to you, BFR, ITS. Uh, but also, I don't know if you want Falcon 1 stuff, and also the payload fairing textures are actually fairly hefty. This payload fairing texture folder is 49 megabytes, and so you could probably get rid of some of those and then open up this file, and uh, it's complicated. I've done, I usually do, do that, but it's, and that's actually a little bit involved. Atlas Pack. Again, it all ends up in the same folder called Launchers Pack. Um, let's see about this. I don't want the old files. Well, they're about the same age anyway, but I'll keep the ones that are already in there. They're mostly just sound files. Okay, let's fire it up and see what we've got. It belatedly occurred to me that I glossed over real scale boosters because it was caught between real plume and real solar system when reviewing what I had in the uh, RO, the old RO history folder. Uh, for real scale boosters, I have it for Ariane 5. Uh, I think it might have, no, it's just Ariane 5 there. And there's also an Athena rocket. I've never actually launched it, but there's an Athena rocket and it's also got the PSLV. So if you want a PSLV from India, Real Scale Boosters has a good one for that. And I believe it's already RO configured, so that's good. Uh, I, at one point, had Blue Dog for certain rockets that weren't otherwise covered. I don't think I had it in the 1.3.1 install, though. I should note that... Module Manager takes a long time to load the mods on the first time. If you don't change the install at all, it'll go much faster. It'll just load the mod, uh, the mod information from cache, and that goes by really quickly. But then if you install a new mod, it'll take a long time again. I'll tell you how long this loading took. Okay, so the loading time was 6 minutes. We are at 6.7 gigabytes of RAM. And let's see. Okay, and once again, I can't click on here. One of those quirks. And you know, we, we see a whole bunch of parts off to the side here. There's Apollo, Rarenix, uh, 
Earth observation satellites like Aura. Uh, if you're not getting the shiny textures, that's because you missed Textures Unlimited somehow. That's what Textures Unlimited does. Okay, but let's check the craft files. And they're really handy because some of these rockets are really hard to put together. Um, unknown part modules for Araby. That's the arrow reentry. Otherwise, we can load that, so that's no problem. There's a little Araby for you, for those who like their sounding rockets. Um, big Gemini capsule. There's a lot of connected living space that somebody saved that with, but otherwise there's a big Gemini. Not the biggest fan of that, but okay. Although I've taken advantage of it from time to time. Pioneer 7, 8, and 9. With the Thor, well, no, there's Delta. Delta D, probably. Uh, did we have Hangar Extender in here yet or not? We do not. Okay, so for Saturn V, you may need Hangar Extender. A uh, few other things, the the second state the J2s are not the right configuration. Oh, okay, they are here. Okay, so this is fine. Uh, do check that the fuel mixture is proper there. Your burn time should be six minutes. It isn't. It's six minutes and twenty seconds. So you'll need to underfuel this tank so that the burn time is six minutes. If you don't, the First stage will have a hard time getting you to the right speed, and that's just gonna make everything worse. So, yeah, uh, underfuel that so that you get six minutes burn time, and then things should be a lot better. Uh, yeah, uh, it looks like this craft file is a little bit better than uh, in previous versions, though for some reason there are four APS packs on there instead of two. I don't know why. Mercury on a redstone and then the Soviet stuff like Salyut uh, somebody had asked uh, they had noted that their Salyut wasn't fitting in the fairing right well one way to make sure you've got it right is first of all install everything properly and second of all uh, load the craft file that comes with it and it'll fit the proton just fine so not comes with it but comes with realism overhaul we still don't have the Tentaris ones, but if you've got the Raider Nick ones, the Tentaris, Soyuz, Voskhod, and Vostok are duplicate to that, so I don't see any need for it. TKS, that's interesting. Okay, so there's a TKS on top of Proton. I've never launched this one before. But that's a fascinating option. And Cygnus on Antares. Oh, let's take a look at how the Atlas V... Oh, uh, one thing is the Deltas. So, we... Oh, this Deep Space One still has locked on valid parts. I wonder what that is. Oh, uh, ATK Star 37 FM. That's the ATK propulsion pack. So, that should be on Space Dock. So, Space Dock, you can get that from. And... Let me see if there's anything else that we're missing an actual part for. Not part modules, but contains locked or invalid parts. So I bet this is ATK propulsion pack as well. Yeah, star 37. That So uh, get the ATK propulsion pack to make sure that you have those unlocked. I'm not going to install that r right now. Okay, and otherwise we can open the Delta II, right? Yes, so we've got the Delta II, and we can launch this Dawn satellite, well, probe. And let's see, Atlas V, how bad does it look? I don't see the Centaur tank, so let's type in Centaur. Let's get Centaur first. Okay, so this is the... Oh, it says non-RO. We may need to find a configuration for that. So this is the Atlas, this looks good. I mean, that's a good start for an Atlas tank, but obviously we don't have an... But this is for a dual engine, that's for the Titan IV Centaur. So we'll go back to Atlas V. Okay, RL-10. Let me try and find the right engine for this. Well, we could use the FASA one. In a pinch, the FASA one will do. So we don't have a good interstage, and we'll probably need the 
to use procedural fairings for that. I'll just leave that be for now. Um, so we have the Atlas tank. Does this have at least? No, it's liquid fuel and oxidizer. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway, so that's the uh, situation with that. But you've got plenty of other rockets to work with. And Proton 4. So I hope this is satisfactory as far as putting this sort of install together. And if you have any questions, please do uh, mention them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. But with this, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.